recognized the 2015 Frankfurt Junction wreck, where an electric Amtrak train derailed, killing eight and injuring many more. But what you might not know was nearly 72 years before, another wreck occurred on that same curve. On September 6, 1943, the Pennsylvania Railroad's premier train, the Congressional Limited, was making its way from the D.C. metro area to greater New York City. However, they would never arrive. As it was Labor Day weekend, labor demand was high, so they needed 16 cars. The train was powered by a PRR GT1 4930 and was traveling nonstop to Penn Station in New York. From DC Union Station at 80 miles an hour, which was at the time a very fast train, everything went fine. Fine from everything went fine when they were roaring through the North Philadelphia st Station. However, at a rail yard, workers noticed there were. There were flames coming from the seventh car's journal box. They ran the alarm, rang the alarm of the next signal tower to warn the train of the affair, but it was too late for the train to stop. The seventh car's axle snapped, catching the underside of the truck and catapulting it upward, also derailing all of the cars behind. The seventh car struck a signal gantry, peeling its roof off, quote unquote, like a can of sardines. The eighth car was almost damaged, being wrapped around the gantry into a figure U. The six cars, the six cars, the next six cars were scattered at odd angles across the track, and the last two tracks remained mostly intact. Bodies were scattered were everywhere, and injured people banged on the windows. As it was wartime, many servicemen and workers were able to rescue and administer first aid to several injured people. They worked feverishly, through the night and into the next morning, a total of 79 people lost their lives and 117 sustained varying degrees of injuries. Although it was clear that an overheated hot box had caused the accident, railroad mechanics swore it was in good order when they last checked it. How the hot box escaped notice until it was too late is not known even to this day. And this wasn't the first case of a wreck due to an overheated journal box. Back in 1833, the first recorded accident involving passenger fatalities in North America had the same cause. Now, railroads have become much more safe, and, and this shouldn't happen ever again. the credits uh music the we Sh we shop channel music kevin mackload aftermath we channel you the one you're hearing right now in that order the photos belong to the respective owners please don't copyright strike me the crash sound crash sound effect was by sound effects library and i got my information from wikipedia and yes this is inspired by thunderbolt 1000 silent productions is crash documentaries. 
Hope you enjoyed the end.